Hey everyone, welcome back. I have a super exciting session lined up today. We are going to cover the three biggest signs that you are not going to make it as a graduate student, as a researcher. I'm not saying if you exhibit any of these signs that you should just throw in the towel, give up, and it's all lost. But if you do show any of them, probably going to hit a lot of bumps along the way. I mean, the grad journey, doing research is torturous for anybody. There's so many pitfalls you can fall into. And if you have these signs, you know, this long, hard slog of a road, uh, you're probably not gonna get there. And that's just my experience as a professor, having worked with students at Harvard, Cambridge, Oxford, now Bocconi and Milan, where I'm a full professor. Just, I've started to see after two decades of working with students, why is it that some thrive when others fall behind? So watch carefully, and because if you do exhibit any of these three signs, you need to think hard about whether you can change these, and if you can't, think about avoiding a lot of unnecessary frustration along the way. All right, let's dive straight in. Sign number one, you're not willing to ask for help. What? What? I, you say, I, I thought I was supposed to you know, be really resilient and tough and grind through as a grad student. True, but every grad student is gonna get hard. You're gonna hit something you don't know how to do. You're going to get stuck. That's part of the process. You are stretching yourself. You're trying to get to the, catapult yourself to the forefront of your field to where you in turn are gonna be a thought leader. You're going to be pushing the boundaries of knowledge. Uh, that's a long journey to get there. You're gonna get stuck. Things are gonna get hard. You're pushing yourself towards your limits. And so often what I see students do, the moment it gets hard, they pull back. But that's precisely the moment that you need to be leaning in to get support. Support from your colleagues, support from your peers, maybe in your grad cohort, support from postdocs. You need a support structure to help you so you don't bang your head against the wall, you don't lose time, you don't withdraw and pull back further. You do need to learn to ask for help at the right times when you need it. This leads me to sign number two. You're not an action taker. I have so many students who come to me and say, look, I, I, I can't figure out how to do this. Often what I'll do is say, well, let's see what Professor Google says. I'll flip the screen, go into Google, and pop the very question, within 10 seconds, I've got the answer. So there's asking for help when you're really stuck and you've taken action, and then there's just not being willing to take the right action to try to figure it out. As a PhD student, the ultimate thing that's, and grad student, really, generally, you're gonna have to learn how to learn, how to teach yourself. Because again, once you get to the forefront of the field, no one's there to teach you anymore. You're, you're doing research, you're not consuming knowledge, but you're producing it. You're, you're gonna be essentially what research is, is, you're teaching everybody else in your field, hey, look at this discovery, look at this thing that I, I found that's really amazing. So you've gotta be an action taker. Still gotta ask for help. Once you've taken action and you get stuck from others, that's really normal but you really have to take action. And psychologists have a term for this called learned helplessness. And a lot of uh, students I've seen fall into this that they don't feel confident and they've just learned to feel helpless to where they just feel like they can't do anything. Every minute little thing, they, they feel like they, they, they're kind of paralyzed and they can't get, get off their seats and go. Let's get to point number three. This is really important. This is fundamental. And you know, I think we sometimes talk about the intellectual side, the rational side, and not enough of the emotional side. And I've always been a big believer in this personally. And this really has to do with your gut. And when, my, when I get excited about a project, I just have that reaction that I can't wait to get out of bed and do something, then I probably need to do it or I'm gonna have regret. And I don't like to live life with regrets. Um, but I digress. Sign number three, you don't love what you do. If you don't love what you're working on, if you don't drive everybody crazy when you're out at night because all you want to do is talk about what you're doing, you, you need this kind of obsessive love, just crazy enamored with what you do so much because you are choosing to go down a path that is hard work, low reward. I can assure you it, it pays off nicely if you do run the distance and you do get to the finish line, you get to that point, but getting there is in this high work, low reward cluster. So that low reward, what I mean low reward is, you're not really paid well. Most grad students who are on a stipend, uh, they've worked out the hourly rate and you're getting uh, something under minimum wage at two to three dollars an hour. It's really low what compensation you're getting right now. And that's because you're investing now, you're delaying your gratification for a payoff down the road. Trust me, it's amazing when you get there, but it's a very 
long, hard slog. If you're doing this because, oh, well, I didn't really know what to do, I thought I'd go, go to grad school, ah, PhD could be fun. Uh, it's just a telltale sign, probably not gonna get there. Guys, don't get too dismayed, don't feel too depressed if this has happened to you, but do reach out. Join first thing, join my exclusive Facebook group, Fast Track Grad, where we've got a lot of support in that rich community where you can turn to for support and guidance when you need help. 100% free, I'd love to see you there. It's a chance for us to also be in touch in the direct messages. And uh, if these don't apply to you, they may apply to some of your friends. Um, these are, again, early warning signs for a potential burnout, crashing out, and just not making the most value out of the investment you're making in yourselves right now. So uh, stay tuned on the channel. I've got a lot of great content coming up and hope to see you in the next video.